Hey, what's happening, guys? I got a lot of requests for the math of the RC integrator circuit that we used in uh, part two of our uh, DIY function generator. So let's just start off by saying, here's our, our integrator circuit. Consists of a resistor. The input goes through the resistor, is coupled to ground by the capacitor, and then we get our output on the back side of the resistor. Really simple. So all it is, is a series circuit. And it produces an output signal that corresponds to the process of integration. I'm going to do the math for you, but if you don't, if you're not familiar with calculus, you might have some trouble with it. And there's really not enough time to do calculus in a uh, five to seven minute video. So I'm going to give it my best. Okay, so our integrator circuit is really nothing more than a resistor in series with a capacitor. Pretty simple, right? And at low frequencies, the reactance of the capacitor is high. While at high frequencies, the reactance is low, and that's due to the capacitive reactance formula. And that can be found here. Capacitive reactance is equal to the reciprocal of 2 pi frequency times capacitance. If our input is a sine wave, then this becomes a simple low-pass filter. But if our input is something else, like the square wave, then it depends on the RC time constant. And that is T equals R times C, resistance times capacitance. And you can see how that fits into our formula up here. Now, our V out, which we're taking right here, is simply going to be VC at time. So whatever point in, in the time domain we're talking about, as a capacitor is charging or discharging, that is going to be our output. The capacitor is simply a fixed resistance, a load. Now we can find the current for this capacitor. And here's where we start the calculus. The current of the capacitor at some point in time is equal to capacitor dv capacitor time over dt. So that's an integral. This is an integrator. See how that all works together? The equation can also be expressed as the instantaneous charge of the capacitor. So we can also write it as IC, no T because this is the instantaneous charge, equals DQ, the charge, divided by DT, the time. So this is anywhere, you know, here's our sine wave. Anywhere along this point, one of these points, we can find the instantaneous charge. And the instantaneous charge, Q, is equal to the capacitance times the voltage of the capacitor. I hope you guys are following along here. Let's bring in our RC time constant. Okay. Our RC time constant is R times Q, our charge, over the voltage. And that is also equal to R I times T over I times R. Now we can figure out a couple of things here are going to cancel out. So our RC time constant, or T, is simply 
equal to R times C. Just a breakdown of everything so you can see how they all work together. Okay now, we saw above that the capacitor's current can be expressed as a rate of change, that's Q, with respect to time. So a basic rule of differential calculus is the derivative of Q, our charge, in respect to time is dQ over dt. Now the current, I, is also dQ over dt. So we get this relationship, Q, our charge, is equal to this integral of I dt. See how it works? That, that is a charge at any point along our curve. So now we can say that the current at some point in time is equal to Vn over R. It's also equal to Vr, the voltage of the resistor, over R. And our capacitance which is the voltage over the time, or the change in the voltage over the time. All right? <laughs> now, the big finish. So we can say V out is equal to 1 over the RC time constant times this particular formula. V in at some point in time times the change in time. Voila. Whew. Now that is some calculus, but it does explain how we can find the charge and the voltage at any point along this curve because According to Kirchhoff's law, the current through any of those points must be equal. And that's the breakdown of why. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I mean, it's calculus. Nobody really enjoys calculus, do they? But if you got something out of this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. <laughs> Big thanks to you for putting up with me over this. That's it. I'm out. Peace.